All right, reverse chain rule, this time with trig functions. Now, you've seen one before with a trig function, but when we did that one, it was a trig function with a function inside of it, something like that, and we said let u equal this and then work from there. This time we're going to let u equal the entire trig function and work that way. Now, before we start, you probably need to know, or at least remember, that the derivative of sine x is cos x. You'll have a table to try to remember these ones with, but it's important to know that. Derivative of sine x, cos x. So here, the integral of cos x, uh, sine x to the power of 4 with respect to x, this is the derivative of this. Okay, so because we see that, it's a reverse chain rule question, we can let u equal uh, sine x. Not sine 4x, but just sine x, because that's sine x is the derivative, oh sorry, cos x is the derivative of sine x. Now if I do that, uh, derivative of u with respect to x is equal to cos x. And now I can, I can rewrite this whole thing as the integral of cos x times u to the 4, and I'll we'll probably need to rearrange this, don't I? Uh, that's going to be, uh, if I make dx the subject, it's going to be du over cos x. So dx comes down here as du over cos x. Now obviously we're going to see a little bit of cancelling there. And now we have the integral of u4 with respect to u. Uh, now the integral of u4 is just u5 over 5 uh, plus c and what was u? u was sine x. So now we have sine x. We can put it in brackets and do to the power of 5 but that's a bit weird. Sine 5x over 5 plus c. You can probably just write that if you want. I think your textbook probably prefers this method. One fifth sine five x plus c. Done. Let's do another one. Uh, this one's really esoteric, really strange. Uh, it's the integral of tan to the negative one x over two over four plus x squared with respect to x. Now, there's some you're getting the should be getting the hang of this reverse chain rule stuff. There's some relationship between this and this, some sort of derivative relationship between this and this that you're supposed to be able to recognise. So uh, let's quickly figure out the uh, derivative rules for inverse tan. So here's our rule. The derivative of tan to the negative 1 x on a equals a on a squared plus x squared. Now again, you can find this in your little integral table, just working in reverse. Um, so, tan negative 1 x on a, tan negative 1 x on a. Now, we would expect the derivative of tan negative 1 x on 2 to be 2 over um, a squared, which is 4, plus uh, whatever that is, which is x squared. So, 2 on 4 plus x squared. You can see we're pretty close to the mark. Uh, this isn't 2 on 4 plus x squared, it's 1 on 4 plus x squared, uh, but it's it's half of it, so it's good enough. Uh, so let's let, so if this is the derivative of this, then we can let all of this equal u and see what happens next. So uh, let u equal all of that, tan to the negative 1, x on 2. Uh, Okay. Now, the derivative of u with respect to x, again, that's um, 2 over 4 plus x squared. Um, let's rearrange that to make uh, derivative of x the subject. This is the first time we've had like a fraction going on here. dx is going to be du 4 plus x squared over 2. 
I don't know what's going to happen next. So now that we've done that, let's think about what to do here. We, we've got uh, u, so we've got the integral of uh, u over 4 plus x squared. And then instead of dx, we're going to write du 4 plus x squared over 2. Oh, okay, cool. That's not too bad. So we've got 4 plus x squared here. We've got 4 plus x squared here. Now, that just leaves us with, uh, with a 2 on the bottom, which is a half. So the half can come out the front. We have half of the integral of u uh, with respect to u. So uh, the integral of u is just going to be u squared over 2. So now we have 1 half times u squared over 2, um, which is equal to uh, u squared over 4. And finally, u, and don't work like this, this is ugly, but u is 10 to the negative 1 x over 2 squared over 4. Ugh. Okay, a little bit ugly there, but we can tidy it up. Uh, it's 10 to the negative 1, x on 2 squared. Now, 10 to the negative 1, uh, x on 2 squared. Ugh. How are we going to tidy that up? Nope, let's leave it at that. Uh, the only thing I forgot, of course, was plus c, plus c, plus c. This is going to be a running theme for me. Uh, make sure that all of your integrals have a plus c on the end. Very easy way to lose uh, free marks.